And we're back with more Kerbal Space Program, where we are currently in the process of circularizing our orbit. I still don't know if circularizing is a word. But here we go. Uh, I'm thrusting uh, in this direction, and there we go. Now we've completed our circular orbit, so I'm going to bring the throttle down. So we're using no fuel, and so now I'm just coasting around the planet. Um, I can speed up time if I want, and I will continue to just float around um, along with all the other space debris. So after we've gotten our orbit circular like this, we can start thinking about trying to get to the moon. Um, it seems like a lot of other people who play this game, I've watched a handful of other Let's Plays, they, they can be pretty good at aiming so that they hit the moon on their first uh, orbit. I am not that good. I usually have to just extend my orbit, which you'll see momentarily, and then speed up time until the moon gets into a position where I can finally intercept it. Um, but I guess I'll try to aim anyway. Um, I'll speed up time here so that I get on this side down here. Come on. Come on. Okay, okay, slow down. Now, um, I'm going to reorient using the nav ball. The circular icon right here is the direction in which your inertia is carrying you. So I now have my nose pointed in the direction that I'm flying. If I turn my ship all the way around slowly, you'll see that there's another icon on your nav ball with an X through it. That shows you the direction from which you are flying. Oh, too far, too far. Come on. Oh dear. This ship is really heavy. Come on, come on. So if you want to decrease your orbit, um, you point backwards, basically, and then thrust forward. That's called uh, thrusting retrograde. If we're thrusting into the direction that we're traveling, that's called uh, prograde, I believe. And prograde is what we want right now, because we want to increase the size of our orbit so that it takes us all the way out to the moon. Come on. Come on. Almost there. Okay, activating that SAS again to keep us pointed in that direction. I'm going to come out here to the map, and hitting shift to throttle up, you'll see the shape of our orbit begins to change. Um, oh, I think we just ran out of fuel. Yes, we did. We ran out of fuel in that tank, which is fine because now we can decouple ourselves right here and just use this little fuel tank, which I hope is enough to get us where we're going. Head back over to the map. Uh, the apoapsis is the highest point of your orbit. Um, the periapsis is the lowest point, and so you can hover over those to see um, in meters how far those are from from the planet. What we're doing right now is sitting at the periapsis to increase the apoapsis of our orbit. It's getting close, so I'm going to start slowing down a little bit. And there we go. So now our orbit... oh, no. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's that's not good. I was not looking correctly. I didn't realize that our orbit had an inclination. That's silly. And also a problem. Huh. Well, I guess <laughs> I'm going to head I'm reorienting myself. So, oh it's easier to pilot the ship now that there's less mass, but I'm going to uh, aim prograde and then fire my thrusters again to kind of bring this in. Uh, maybe a little more? Okay. Um, I don't really remember how to change the inclination of the orbit. I'm just going to try this and see what happens. I'm basically pointing straight north. 
see what happens if I... Is that, what is that changing? That's not doing what I want it to. Let's... Oh dear. This mission is probably going to be a failure. <sighs> no, that's prograde. Where's my retrograde marker? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. okay. Activating SAS. Let's throttle up. Man, I don't, I don't really know what to do. Um, there is a tutorial that I went through a long time ago in this game that talks about changing the inclination of the orbit. I just don't remember how it works. Uh, what I just did didn't help. I don't want to change the shape of the orbit. I just want to change the inclination of the orbit. What happens if I thrust this way? Let's find out together. I... I just don't... I don't know what's happening. Huh. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I am at a loss. What happens if we thrust kind of halfway between these? Up, oh, no, up, 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 right here ish? I mean, it seems to be between. Hey, stop it. Hey, right. Nope. Right, right, right. I guess that was good enough. I should have just left it. <laughs> okay. Something like that. What does this do? I don't think that's helping either. Oh dear. What have I done? What have I done? I've ruined everything. How much fuel do we have left? Not enough to do anything good. <sighs> Fine. Let's just let's just fling ourselves into the solar system. I'm gonna face prograde, activate our SAS, and thrust. Okay. How much fuel we got? A little bit. Let's see where this takes us. I'm going to fast forward. And we're traveling away from Kerbin. And eventually we're going to end up just orbiting the sun here. Yep. <laughs> In a similar orbit as, as Kerbin. And I guess I don't really have much fuel to get anywhere. Maybe we've lost the Poner too. It's just going to orbit for the rest of time, along with my Durango 1. Well, that's silly. Um, I guess I'll try again. <laughs> uh, stay tuned for the next episode where hopefully we will actually get to the moon.